big event there coming up next week, and you've been hearing a lot about it right here on CFWE. It's uh, Making Treaty 7. It's an event that's going to be taking place down in Calgary the uh, 28th through the 30th. Those three days is going to be just jam-packed with, um, well, basically finding out about uh, the history of, uh, of Treaty 7. And joining me on the program here this morning, joining us on the program here this morning, is uh, the creative director of uh, Making Treaty 7. Good morning there, Troy. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? I'm wonderful. How Excellent. are you? I'm doing very good, thank you. Uh, we got Troy Emery Twig, who's the creative director of uh, Making Treaty 7. And i got to tell you, you you probably been a bit very busy man this uh, past while getting this event uh, organized for uh, for next week, actually. Yes, it's been really, really busy. We've got a cast of about 20 people. We've got uh, Drum Group, who is Ehe uh, Nakoda from uh, Stony Nakoda. And we have Chris and his crack band here in Calgary, which is a fusion of music. So they've been with us since the beginning. And we've got uh, some new actors on the stage. And, uh, yeah, we've got Michelle Flash in the director's seat. And uh, it's been crazy but amazing. And uh, this year we're going to be at the event center at the, um, uh, the uh, Grey Eagle casino and resort so that's a huge change for us but uh it's all coming together very well and um yeah we're quite excited about it troy what can you tell us about uh about making treaty seven for people who might not uh might not know well i mean the making treaty seven um operates on several levels mm -hmm. um and we're still developing we're still growing um what's going to be happening uh next week is a major theatrical event and uh it all started with um with uh, a project that came out of calgary 2012 and it was uh, michael green who was the artistic director there uh and he was the curator it was um celebrating culture in in calgary in 2012 so it was a year and he wanted to create a legacy project recognizing um the land that we all call home and celebrate. And uh, so we went through a series of um, elder consultation and went through a series of creation developments. We had a writer's residency. We spent time with a historian, several historians and elders, of course, and artists um, looking at the material. And part of our departure point was looking at uh, looking at a book, a text um, that was compiled by uh, Dorothy First Rider called The True Spirit and Original Intent of um, Treaty 7. So that was our departure point. And as the artists came in, we looked at uh, events leading up to the 10-day 10 10, 10 span of um, the events of the signing that happened at Blackfoot Crossing and uh, the aftermath. So uh, we began to play with... Uh, with 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 some of those issues as artists and took them away and 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 turned them into stories and uh elders accounts and uh so for instance if if one of the artists wanted to explore a topic like the buffalo um the murdering of the buffalo or smallpox or residential school as an aftermath we went away and uh and explore those mm -hmm. and express them. And so it became this sort of mishmash and um, weaving of stories uh, that we looked at on a chronological level. And, um, and it became this big celebration. I mean, we do talk about topics that are very, very hard, yeah. uh, but there's music and dance and uh, a real celebration of the fact that we all call this land and ultimately it's the stories of the land and it's the true history of the land in which we all call home. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like you said, some of the stories uh, will be difficult to tell, but this is what really happened. These are stories that uh, have a uh, historical <laughs> significance behind them. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And uh, and a lot of it, it's, it's hard for people, but um, <clears throat> we do... Uh, you know, celebrate the fact that we can all change. We can all create a world that uh, that is is a better place, and we can all be involved in that. Because the signing of the treaty was a peace treaty that we were going to share the land. Mm -hmm. So, um, so ultimately, that's 
that's how we celebrate, you know, in the end, that we can all change and we can all be better. In the words of one of our elders, our fall, one of our fallen elders, um, Marcus Bud would say, we can always be better. Joining us here on the program this morning uh, from, well, from down in the southern Alberta, we've got the creative director of Making Treaty 7. And this morning we do have Mr. Troy Emery Twig here on the program. And uh, Troy, uh, a lot of uh, people came together uh, to help bring this project to life. And uh, a, a lot of area businesses in and around Calgary as well are on hand. Yes, yes. We've got a lot of uh, partnerships. Those partnerships continue to grow, and uh, uh, just the reaction of some of this of what we're doing. I mean, we've got a we've got a theater for young audience version in collaboration with Quest Theater, who's a great partner. Uh, we'll be out out and ready to tour next year. We've got uh, a tour that we're building. We'll end up at Canada Scene at the National Arts Center for. Uh, for the 150th anniversary and we continue to grow we also have an educational component um a committee called discussing treaty seven that compiles study guides and curriculums for students that come and see the show also work with uh with several education uh uh, committees and uh boards and stuff so it's, it's it's continuing to grow and it's continuing to expand and people are taking notice of that uh you know and some of the reactions have just been amazing like people sitting in the parking lot going wow what what was that it was so different you know mm-hmm. how how can we work together like that and, and 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 understand the history it's um it's very important and people are taking notice of that and and uh the friendships and the partners keep keep growing which we're really really happy about well and obviously with the change of a venue which is uh, big this year of the gray eagle uh casino on the satina nation uh the event also has a big gala that's happening there on uh, the thursday evening yes it's this thursday afternoon at five uh which will run till seven and the gala is a fundraiser um with uh, several uh, corporations and Blackfoot ambassadors, and it's uh, it's going to be wonderful. And they will see the show that night. So the gala also includes um, not just a fusion of traditional and and uh, several partners in the city's restaurants and chefs, uh, um, supper and dinner, and it's. Uh, it's going to be a lovely fusion of, of people having a conversation, and it's ultimately a fundraiser in which they will see also the show that night. Troy, I want to thank you so much for, for coming on and, and speaking to us this morning about uh, Making Treaty 7. It's happening over the course of the 28th, 29th, and 30th, which is uh, next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mm-hmm. of, uh, of next week. If anybody wants more information, who can they get contact? Where can they get tickets? Uh, they can get tickets at the um, at the event center at uh, Gray Eagle Casino and Resort, and it's online. It's at uh, www.ticketbreak.com, um, and they can also call the office um, at makingtreaty7.com. So all the information is there on the website.